means not hot. And I mean like baby bottle hot. That's about what you want. And that's warm. Okay. So let's see, this is how many ounces that's four. At that nine, four, five, six. Okay, I've got here six ounces of water, okay? Which I think will be fine. But anyway, um, six ounces of water. What I really have to, and I'm going to put, of the six ounces, I'm going to put this other over here. I'm going to set it aside. Okay? And I'm only going to use just a little tiny bit. Because all I want to do is activate this yeast. Okay? So what I do is I'm going to use, I use a whole packet for each, for each trap. So here in my measuring container here, I put the yeast I was supposed to put the sugar in first, but it doesn't matter. It's warm. It's warm in the kitchen. And I will use, oh, at least one... three. Now, that's a lot of sugar. And so, what we'll do is we'll just let that all stir it up a little bit. It kind of got a little warm. Cooled a little bit. It cooled because of the sugar. That I put in there but it'll bubble up I'm gonna put it right here near some heat I got this crock pot going so I'll set it on top of the crock pot you want it warm but not too too warm what you want is for it to create bubbles okay once it creates bubbles then we'll add the rest of this mixture so it'll come up to about here. This is this is the type of yeast we're using here, but you can use any kind. Fast acting, slow acting, doesn't matter. Okay, so here we're going to start with this. We're going to add some used paper towels here. To create a staircase for these lovely animals. You can roll it to create a, a lip. Okay, you want the lip kind of thick. Okay, so what I do is, and I want it in line with the edge here, okay? Maybe even just a tiny bit higher. It doesn't really matter. As long as the bug falls inside. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to tape this right here. Okay. You can tape over the edge. As long as it sticks, you know. Okay. So. Taping like that. Okay. Now this might be too steep for the little guy. And if you want to make it so that they have a little bit more easier time walking. You can build what you call like a little tiny flare there. See? And that'll add a little bit of... That'll add a little bit of 
you know, staircase to them. Okay, now you just want to kind of like design this with each little uh, container you're going to have different issues. Okay, some of them are taller, some of them are skinnier. And you can be as creative as you want. See how this is building a, a staircase here. You know, that's sort of like, oh, here's the steps. There you go, you put it like that. And then you can put another flare here, you know, just put it like that. Make sure that the inside of the container is clean so that it sticks, that the tape won't come undone, and that your hands are basically grease free for it to work perfect. Okay, see so how what's going on here is this is the edge, okay? This is where they're going to climb in, hopefully. That's our goal here. And it, you could probably just leave it like that, you know, but I'm going to do the whole thing. Okay, now, in just that short time, I put this over some heat because it had gotten cold. And see the bubbles? So it's increased a little bit. But we're going to leave it there next to the heat for another while. Because so what the yeast and the water and the sugar does is that it expands. And so we want that mixture to expand. And so we'll just be playing with this first. Uh, while the mixture is expanding, now I'm going to use some new paper towel. See how we do this. Yeah. Not much to this, it's pretty simple. Just sort of make your creases and when you double it over like it'll look like a Z there like that yeah and so there you your piece of tape you put your tape on it tape it like that okay and going over like that and we could just tuck this yeah. see how that does. Yeah, I think that'll work fine. Okay, so here I just tucked it. Doesn't really matter. They find a way to crawl. They're excellent climbers. Okay? So we have this like that okay now we do have some areas that are a little bit steep but they can climb this is probably the best area right there because that's a real staircase you know this here is not very favorable because it's not giving a staircase effect so what you can do is get some toilet paper get on the neat side 
and stick it in there like that, you know, so that it gives it a little bit of a staircase effect. Okay, so the edge is, looks like it's bug friendly. This is a little raised, I might put a piece of tape here, you know, I want it to be kind of even. You don't want them to slip outside, you want them going in. Okay, so, then the next thing that we have to do here, is we've got a used water bottle. And we need to put some holes here on the top of this lid. So we get some scissors very carefully now. Just pull it around like this. It's a little big. Okay. And that's actually a pretty good hole there. Okay. Those are two nice, good, decent looking holes. Okay. And so then we take the top off here. And then we're going to put our, uh, our funnel on there. But before we do any of all that, we're going to check our mixture again. And we see the yeast is activated. It's starting to expand. So let's see where the ounces port. So let's see the foam right there. There's foam and then there's that stuff down at the bottom. So it's expanding and creating gases and, and bubbles. I have it over a little bit of heat while this crock pot is cooking. Just set it on top of there like that. Okay, so. This is the most, or one of the most important things I like to do. And that is, give me some uh, used cooking oil. Because I'm not going to waste anything, I don't have to. And pour it on the bottom, okay, of my bowl here. This is used canola oil. Any kind of cooking oil will work. Uh, I wouldn't recommend motor oil because of the smell. You know, Vaseline, I don't think, maybe Vaseline. Maybe Vaseline might work. But anyway, I put enough in here. Okay, see that? There's put enough in here so that I can cover it. So I tilt it and cover it. So in case they decide, oh, I don't want to be here and try and climb out, well, they can't. Okay, so another thing I'll do is Scissors cut this label off. Okay. Alright, and so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to cover the whole bottle full of this oil. And that's what? Hmm. Maybe two tablespoons. Okay. So. I'm going to cover it. Especially the base all the way around so that they can't crawl up it. Okay. Then I'll just keep going up. if I want to. It doesn't really matter. Sometimes the yeast will keep
keep on activating and it'll drip down. You know, but that doesn't matter. And it'll form at the bottom of the trap. Okay, so now we've got that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get our mixture here. It's been around. Okay, so we're going to mix our mixture here. I can feel all that sugar there at the bottom. Okay, this says it's almost four ounces. And when we started, I think it was two. Was close to three, I don't know. So, we pour the mixture in the bottle. Okay? Yeah, it's, it's a thick mixture. Okay, I'm going to add, I like to add more warm water. But I, you never want it to be too hot. Now, I still have some leftover hot water. But I don't want to jeopardize the heat. So I want to mix it so that it's just perfect, just like it's for a baby, a baby bottle. You know? You don't want it hot. It's just got to be perfect. So have a separate bowl like I have here that I'm mixing, okay? Now that feels like it's a little too hot. See, if it's too hot, it's going to kill the yeast and it won't produce the gas that we want. That CO2 gas. So, I'll add just a hair of cold water in here. So it's perfect. Baby bottle perfect, okay? So now, I'm going to put it all the way up. Get some more. Okay. Get some more. Okay, so I'll fill it. Right there is fine. Okay. Now, you can choose two if you want. Like, this is what I would do. Tip it. Mix it. Okay. And put it back down like that. Alright. Okay. Ah. So here's the lid. Okay, now this is fine, but what we need is a cover an aluminum cover. Okay, it's a hat. Now, what we want to do, the goal is, is for the the gas that's created in here, through all this mixture here, we want it to go aimed down, okay? But we don't want this edge to touch the aluminum foil, okay? We want to lure them, and we want to create like a pocket. You know, it's, it's got to be where it's not a completely sealed. So, what I'll do here is, is fold this over, turn this over into like a little hat. Okay? So this is going to be a little bottle hat. Okay? Okay, so here I'm getting my width. Okay? And see what I want 
is, and so this is easy to mold, okay? Just keep an eye on all sides and mold this thing here. Okay? So, there. Oops. But see how this is not good here. You don't want that happening right there. So we have to make it so it goes down there. That'll be fine. Just crease it a little bit and mold it. See how it's a little... That's too close for comfort for me. You know. What you want is for it to be gentle, gentle, gentle with this. See, here's another thing. You don't want it touching the side of the... You don't want it touching the side here at all. So, crimp it. Crimp it if you have to. Okay? So here, we have something pretty loose, pretty flimsy. Okay, so now, you do a double check on everything here. I see a little space here. I, you move things around. Sometimes things move. Set it down like that. And see, th this is this is this is a, your your trap. This is a really nice trap. 